Hey guys, Carl Brown here, and this student spotlight, I'm going to show Vaughn some little picking tips to get a, a couple of licks um, up to speed and kind of clean up the, his sound a little bit. Uh, make sure you submit your own student spotlight uh, video at uh, my website, guitarlessons365.com, and I'll get to as many as I can. Um, and don't be shy, don't even have to show your face, whatever you need. Please subscribe to the channel and, um, you know, click the little bell as well so you can follow the lessons and know when I release a video, maybe even yours. All right, so let's watch Vaughn's video real quick. Uh, hey, Carl, I'm a big fan of the, uh, the lessons, and um, I recently realized I was having a lot of trouble with um, shredding, particularly alternate picking. Um, so um, I'll just play a, a lick that, I've pl that I play a lot, and... Uh, where you can see my picking hand and you can point out some things. I've got two things that I really need help with. Um, so, both in the shredding category, so I'll play this like real quick. So, it's, it kind of goes up that same scale as the solo from Sabbath True by Metallica. But, um, just that I can never get notes to ring clearly. Like, if I play, um, if I were to play like like I can't get the notes to ring clearly there's a lot of um, string noise and I just can't get it to work properly um, that's one thing is my alternate picking and the other thing is um, this is the this is a lick from um, one by Metallica the solo um, I can play it most of the solo I learned from your lessons I can play most of the solo but this one part um, then it, then it goes. Okay. Yeah, I just can't do it. It's it's mostly um legato, I suppose you'd call it, with just the. It's almost all not picked. It's almost all hammer ons and pull offs, but um. Anyway, if you could point out some things um, with my technique and just help me overall um, do this, that'd be, that'd be great. All right, Vaughn, so the first thing I've noticed here is how you uh, actually hold your pick is a, a little bit um, unique. Uh, now, there are players that actually play like that that have a lot of success with it, so I'm not saying that it's like uh, you can't do it that way or whatever. Um, but that is what's actually causing the, your inability to mute the strings properly. So now um, what you're doing, um, as I'm sure you know, is you're holding the pick like this, which to most people, most players would seem that as being backwards. And you're attacking it like that. I, have, uh, I can't play that way. Anyway, so most players let the pick follow the same angle as the rest of their arm. So they're picking across like this instead of, but you're kind of breaking that and moving everything like this down and then kind of picking, jabbing at it upwards. Um, there's a guy named Sean Lane, who's no longer with us unfortunately, but he is probably the fastest guitar player alive ever, um, that was ever alive, unfortunately he's not anymore. Um, and he picked like that, he picked like, and he, he did, really, really well with it. <laughs> All right, um, but um, it's probably not something I would recommend uh, for us mere mortals. So uh, you might want to try to adjust. Now, what's what's causing all this noise? Like, um, I'll, I'll kind of try to play it like you. You're leaning your hand down like this and picking back up towards the strings like this. What that does is it's exposing all these strings down here. So as you pick, hearing all that noise but if you had your pick going at the same angle as your arm so you kind of turned it around and you can still slice through the string but you see how it allows the rest of my hand to kind of come down instead of like this it comes down and it lays on those lower strings so this part of my hand the back of the palm and the the you know the kind of the thumb muscle they are laying on the strings there, so I can pick across. Mm -hmm. 
do anything I want with that string. Yeah. Also, that lick that you played, the kind of Kirk Hammett lick, um, yeah, that's kind of a pentatonic thing. Something like that. Um, that is made a lot easier when the strings are muted. So that's what he's doing. It makes the notes pop out, first of all. But it also controls the vibration of the string, so it makes you ha be able to have a lighter touch with the pick. But it also keeps all the other strings quiet. So um, check out some of my videos on, on muting, um, and, and you'll be able to see kind of the proper position, what, what your hand should be doing as you go across the strings. But um, you're not going to be able to do it when you hold your pick like this. You're going to have to kind of relax and bring the arm back up. Um, and now when it comes to the legato lick at the end, that's a tricky lick and really depending on the guitar, the string tension of the guitar, the uh, scale length of the guitar, and the length of your fingers, you're going to play it differently. Um, uh, now you can probably notice in my one video, I played it like this. I use these fingers because it's when I use my pinky. It's, I kind of I have pretty large fingers, so it's a little bit cramped for me up here to play with that. You know, I'd, so I use these fingers. So find what's comfortable to you. It might be this, but you gotta maybe adjust your hand a little bit, not be so angled or kind of bring it down a little. Try to find it, and the way you do that is you focus on just one string at a time. So I would focus on the notes here on the B string first. Get to where those are feeling good. And you got the feel of it down. And then practice the top note, top little trill. Just think of this little trill. Then. And then put them together just like. So that's how you get licks like that down. You don't try to play the whole thing at the same time and repeat it. You need to break down the little parts of it and then slowly put them together. And when that feels good, just doing it once, play it through it twice. And then you can just make it longer. But you're gonna have to find your own fingerings there. I will say the last lick there, when he's doing this, that's going to be easier for pretty much everybody, including Kirk Hammett. When you just bar your index finger, but don't have it so... And just use your, your, your uh, third finger and your pinky to play those top notes. Because it's just like flicking the notes. And that you can even angle this finger a little bit. You don't have to be straight up like this. You can angle it. But that part is a lot easier than, than that. So and that is, you gotta really break down each part of that lick and then build up to it. All right, so I, I would work on that picking technique and then I would uh, kind of work on breaking your licks down into smaller bite-sized pieces and then putting them together. And that should help you uh, conquer it a lot easier. All right, hope this helps. I'll see you soon.